Hello everyone, welcome to Mark Arnold's Finance. Now this is a busy week for me, but I still wanted to post some videos about the big tech earnings that are going on. We had Microsoft and Google report today, which we're gonna quickly go over, and then the rest of this week we have Apple, Meta, and Amazon. All of these are very important because they steer the market based on what happens. So let's start with Microsoft. Now Microsoft uh, presented great earnings. This is a very sturdy company and they continued to prove that. So revenue came in at 49.4 billion versus the 49 billion expected. So they came in just above that. And same with the EPS at $2.22 versus the $2.19 expected. Productivity and business processes came in at expectation at 15.8 billion and intelligent cloud came in strong with 19.05 billion versus the 18.9 billion expected. The more personal computing, uh, 14.5 billion versus 14.3 billion expected. So some highlights are that it's office products are continuing to grow and show strength, which is great because that's a, that's a good big part of this business. And also, you know, I think what everyone was really focused on was their cloud side of things. So that grew 26% year over year, but specifically the Azure side of things grew 46% year over year. This is important because last quarter came in at about 46%, but in 2020 it was growing at 60 plus percent. And people were saying, now ah, it's kind of declining. Well, now it's saying, showing that it's holding steady, which is a good sign, I think a relief for investors. Uh, so that's something that I really like. So overall, Microsoft, as expected, came in with great earnings. Now let's move to Alphabet, or as we probably all call it, Google. So they did not do so well. They did have some misses. Their earnings per share came in at $24.62 versus the expected $25.91. Their revenue fell short at $68.01 billion versus the expected $68.11 billion. Now, their YouTube advertising was probably the biggest um, miss, and that was their revenue for their advertising on YouTube came in at $6.87 billion versus the expected $7.51 billion. Now, their Google Cloud revenue did well at $5.82 billion versus $5.76 billion expected, and their traffic acquisition costs, or TAC, came in uh, better than expectations at 11.99 billion versus 11.69 billion. So a few things with Google, I definitely want to go over. Uh, let's start with their cloud business. Of course, with Microsoft, Amazon, and Google, I think the eyes are all focused on the cloud. Amazon's in far first place, and Microsoft is in a sturdy second place, and then we have Google in third place. So. They actually did well here. They grew 44%, which we saw Microsoft grew 46% um, on their cloud business. Uh, so that be expectations, but it is well, uh, good to note that they still are reporting an operating loss of 931 million um, compared to a year earlier at 974 million loss. So their losses are improving slightly, but their cloud business is still at a loss. They're trying to grow and expand, and that's coming at the cost of you know, making some operating loss here. Um, their traffic acquisition costs, which is the metric used to show how much the company pays other websites to acquire traffic, came in um, higher than expected, which is really good. That shows some strength there. Um, but what I wanted to focus on was, is on YouTube. YouTube is, I think, where Google, a lot of people feel that this is uh, where it shines, its strength, and it was expecting some good growth, and that didn't come in as expected. Again, we saw that it came in uh, at 6.87 billion versus 7.51 billion. I kind of expected not um, a, a knockout of the park, but I didn't expect really this big of a miss in my opinion. I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. It's not gonna end Google or nothing, but we did see how um, ad revenue probably would see a hit due to people not spending as much time on social media or all these different platforms such as YouTube. Um, but to, you know, that expectation was there to at least hit 7.51 billion. So it didn't happen. So I really wanted to share this. I think this is very interesting. It says YouTube led all platforms in first quarter 22 when respondents were asked which platform they use most often for mobile video. But YouTube dropped to 35% from 45%. So an, 
a huge 10% drop, while TikTok was number two with 22%. So the, the platforms that people are choosing to use, YouTube is still number one, but it has dropped 10%. And TikTok, of course, is coming in strong. So, you know, I... What I would like to say about this is that wasn't expected. Um, I did expect some slowdown with YouTube, but I think this is a little bit more than what people were expecting. And so their stock price is reflecting that. It's dropping after hours, whereas Microsoft is going up. Uh, so YouTube, Google, their cloud service, I think there's some rockiness here. YouTube, with it not really showing some strength, is not good. Their cloud business showed strength, but they're in third place. And, you know, I really think Azure and Amazon's cloud are just dominant. So I don't think Google will ever catch up, in my opinion. Um, so really, it, it lies on ads for them, their ad revenue. YouTube didn't really hit it, but their traffic acquisitions costs did do well. Uh, their cloud overall did do better than expected, so that's good. Um, but their revenue and earnings per share just were a miss. So overall, I think Google, uh, you know, we need to see a turnaround with this because if users with more competition now, TikTok and everything else, it, you know, it could cause this flattening out where there's not really growth anywhere and it's only shining in a few platforms. And we saw TikTok is just so popular right now, but YouTube is still holding strong. So hopefully that can turn around. We all use this platform. I'm using it right now. Um, but yeah, my opinion, Microsoft expected, strong, sturdy company, love this company, will continue to invest in it. Google, I think, still has uh, great potential. Their Waymo self-driving cars did double their revenue in that area, so that's also good. So they have some shining points, um, but YouTube needs to turn around, and their cloud service long-term, um, Google's cloud service, I don't, I'm not as bullish as I am with Azure or Amazon because they're just so dominant right now. I think Google might be left behind long term, but we'll see. You never know. Uh, so let me know your thoughts on Microsoft and Google. Uh, if you are buying more, selling, what's your expectation with these stocks? Did it come in as expected or did this change anything for you? So just a short video today. I wanted to go over this. I'll continue going over earnings as much as I can. Again, this week is busy for me. But I wanted to put something out there for you guys. So have a great rest of your day and we'll see you next time on Mark Arnold's Finance.